I'm going to show you how you can program a multiplus two, a three kilowatt one, to use the AC out two uh, as a load dump to heat your hot water cylinder in your boat or your motorhome. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Offgrid, and in this episode we are going to show you the various steps involved in programming a multiplus two. It's got to be a three kilowatt or bigger. Uh, as in, it's got to have the AC out too. The, the, the smaller multipluses have only one AC out, but the bigger ones, so from three kilowatts upwards, have two AC outs, and it's the AC out too that I'm going to show you how you can load and install, configure some assistance to do a load dump. The idea is you've got big solar panels, so on a, on a boat install, on a, on a wide beam canal boat, we installed four kilowatts of solar panels, so that's a lot of solar panels. When the batteries are fully charged, all of that solar energy just disappeared. It, it no longer needs it, so it is wasted. And they are using other resources to heat the water, which is not really cost effective. And, and you've got this beautiful system, so you may as well make use of it. So the idea is that when your state of charge of your batteries reaches a certain level, that you can then siphon some of that power off to heat your hot water cylinder using 230 volt AC. And the idea is sort of 95 or above, you're going to kick the assistant in to heat your cylinder. And when it drops down to say 90, then it's going to stop heating and uh, preserve the batteries. So your batteries will always be sort of, you know, never be drained more, more than 90% of their capacity. Uh, to make sure that you have plenty of, of power for whatever you need to do. So I'm going to take you through the various steps. First thing I'm going to show you is on the Multiplus itself, the, so I've just attached this wire. It's not uh, gone through its clamp or anything, but as you can see, the, the middle wire here, this one here, is your AC out two. Now the one on the right is your AC in, so that's coming, that's going here. It's coming in from shore power or from your, your grid. This one here is the normal, uh, this is the AC out one, and this is where we, we've gone, taken this to our plugs here, and we're running loads of things off here. The AC out two is like an alternative one, and I'm going to show you how uh, we've used this now. We've got this wire going here and just to demonstrate this we've got it coming to a good old lava lamp here and uh, I'll show you all the various steps that you need to program this so that the ACR2 switches on automatically. In our case we're going to program it so that it will switch uh, on at say above 90 and probably switch off below uh, 89 or 85 or whatever you want to do. I, th I think the normal that people like to choose is if it goes above 95, it switches on. And when it drops below 90, then it switches off. So that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to take you through on the VE Configure app on a Windows laptop. Unfortunately, it has to be Windows, can't be Mac. I'm going to show you how you load these assistants and how you configure them. In this demo, I'm not going to show you how you actually get to the VE configure. We assume that you already know your way around this and you've uh, plugged it in, you've chosen the port and it's downloaded all the info uh, from, from uh, the Multiplus. And what you need to do, you see, we're running ESS, but it's got nothing to do with the ESS, which is the energy storage system. It is the programmable relay. And as you can see, we have loaded this assistant twice or installed it twice. You need to install it twice because this one here will be where we turn the load dump on and this will be where we turn the load dump off. So to add these assistants, it's really easy. You just go to add assistant and you go down to relay and you choose programmable relay. I'm not going to do it again because we've already got it loaded twice. But basically, you just load that. And as I said, you're going to need to load it twice. So once, once it's loaded, we're going to use this one to turn the relay on. So what you do is you, you, you've got that highlighted there and you come down and you need to start the assistant. So let's start that. And it gives you a whole lot of welcome stuff and you choose 
Now, what you want to do is that you want it to use the AC out two relay. So you choose that particular item there. Go to the next step. And it's going to set the relay on. Go to the next step. It's going to be um, based on the uh, state of charge. So there are a whole lot of things that you can base it on, but in our case, we want to base it on the state of charge of the battery. So we carry on there. It's got nothing to do with uh, bulk protection, or etc. We don't need that. It's the next step that we want. So basically, when the state of charge is higher than 90% is when you kick it on. So to that, and that has loaded, that, or that has now configured the uh, relay that will turn it on. Let's configure the relay that will turn it off. Again, we start the assistant and another welcome screen. And again, we're using the ACR2 relay. And here we are setting the relay off. Remember, in the first step, we set it on. This one, we're setting it off. And again, it's based on state of charge, similar to the other one. And we ignore that screen. And basically, in this particular case, we are saying when the state of charge is lower than 89%. So <clears throat> you click that. Don't forget that you will need to send the settings. So I'm not going to do it because it's going to turn all our filming lights off, which are running off our multiplus. Basically, you do need to remember to send the settings. And that will send everything to the multiplus, and the multiplus will be ready to operate. Right, to take you through the system that we are about to demonstrate and test this concept, I'm going to run through what we've actually got. So firstly, we've got a fast charger that will simulate a lot of solar coming in all at once just so we didn't have to wait and wait. So that'll charge at about 70 amps, which is what we've set it to. We've got a smart shunt here, which is uh, recording our state of charge, that uh, the energy that is stored in the batteries. And that is obviously being read by the multiplus. And we've got a multiplus two, a 3000 VA multiplus two. And with our cable coming out, our uh, ACR2 coming out here, coming to this uh, lava lamp that I've got on the desk, we connect, we sorted everything out to the laptop, we configured it, but we then needed to unplug the laptop from the multiplus because it won't work if the laptop is plugged into the multiplus. And last, but probably the most important thing is that this is not connected to the grid. There's a perception out there that this only works if it is connected to the grid. That is not true. This works fine if the multiplus is not connected to the grid. ACR2 works absolutely fine under these circumstances. So let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to manually set the state of charge to 90.9 um, .9 because remember when, when I configured it, the, the load dump will start when the, the state of charge is greater than 90%. So in the multiplus will do that when it is 91. So it, it doesn't work with fractions. It, it works with, with, um, you know, whole, whole numbers. So basically, when we hit 91, it will activate the load dump and the lava lamp will turn on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the charger. So let's get the charger going. And that's going to charge at about 70 amps. Uh, we should see that coming through very soon. Yeah, we're going 75 amps are going into the battery at the moment. And it's sitting at 89. But I'm going to going to manually change it on my phone just to get this thing to go faster. So I'm going to change that to 90.8, which now that is showing 91. It's not actually 91, it's 90.8 or 90.9 by now. But in just a minute or so, there we are, the lava lamp just turned on, as you can see because this reached 91%. We've shown you how this turns on. I'll show you when it turns off. So we're going to turn our charger back off. And again, to um, get this thing to work fast, I'm going to change this to uh, 89.9. It's set to go off at 89. And I'm going to draw a lot of power through the multiplier. So the heat gun. 
and it should uh, drain this thing pretty quickly to below 89 and once it reaches that <coughs> this will turn off yep. as you can see it turned off so one of the things you need to bear in mind is if you look at your battery settings on the app, we were 88.9, but when you look at the uh, display, it says 89. So remember that the display runs up or down, so don't be confused by that. If you want to know the exact state of charge that the shunt has, you've got to go into the battery settings and you can see the state of the, in you know decimal points, what, what that state of charge is there. So folks, hopefully uh, that was useful to you. Uh, using the ACR2 on a multiplus 2, 3000 VA or above to do things like heat your hot water cylinder. Uh, and uh, again, just repeated, this works when you are off grid as well as on grid. So uh, just to dispel that myth that it only works when you are on grid. So hopefully that's useful to you and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.